Welcome to the fascinating world of minerals. These naturally occurring solid substances form the very foundation of our planet. Each mineral tells a story of its formation and geological processes. Minerals are more than just beautiful objects. They are the building blocks of our planet. Join me as we delve into the intriguing processes that shape these geological wonders. Let's begin our adventure into the heart of minerals. Imagine a cocktail party, but instead of people mingling, it's atoms. That's the essence of a solid solution in the mineral world. Atoms of different elements can substitute for each other within a mineral's crystal structure. One example is the olivine group, common in Earth's mantle. Olivine varies between forsterite, rich in magnesium, and faolite, rich in iron. Another example is plagioclase feldspar, a major component of Earth's crust. Plagioclase forms a series between albite, rich in sodium, and anorthite, rich in calcium. Just like cocktails can be mixed in different ratios, solid solutions also exhibit varying degrees of mixing. There are two main types, complete solid solutions and limited solid solutions. Complete solid solutions allow unlimited mixing between end members. Limited solid solutions have restrictions on mixing. Understanding solid solutions reveals formation conditions. Temperature and pressure play a crucial role in the formation and stability of solid solutions. Think of it like baking a cake. The ingredients and their proportions are important, but so is the oven's temperature. At high temperatures, atoms have more energy and can move more freely. This increased movement allows for greater substitution and the formation of more extensive solid solutions. As temperatures cool, the range of possible compositions narrows and the solid solution may become unstable. Pressure also influences solid solution stability. High pressure can force atoms closer together, promoting substitution and stabilizing solid solutions that might not form at lower pressures. Conversely, decreasing pressure can lead to the breakdown of solid solutions. The interplay between temperature, pressure and solid solution stability is a delicate balancing act. By studying these factors, geologists can reconstruct the conditions under which rocks and minerals form deep within Earth's crust and mantle. Section 5. Exolution, Unmixing the Mix Imagine a perfectly mixed cocktail separating into its individual components as it cools. That's the essence of exolution. A fascinating process where a homogeneous solid solution becomes unstable and separates into distinct mineral phases. As temperatures decrease, the ability of different elements to coexist within the same crystal structure diminishes. This instability drives the unmixing process, causing the once homogeneous solid solution to segregate into separate minerals with distinct compositions. Exolution often results in intricate intergrowths of the separating minerals, creating visually striking patterns known as exolution lamellae. These lamellae, often visible under a microscope, resemble thin layers or bands of one mineral intergrown with another. Exolution is a testament to the dynamic nature of minerals, highlighting their ability to respond to changing conditions by adjusting their composition and structure. It's a reminder that even in the seemingly static world of rocks and minerals, change is constant. Section 6. Exolution Examples Tales from Feldspar The Feldspar group, a common rock-forming mineral, provides some of the most stunning examples of exolution. Let's revisit our familiar friends, potassium feldspar and plagioclase feldspar, to see exolution in action. Potassium feldspar, rich in potassium, and albite, rich in sodium, can form a solid solution at high temperatures. However, as temperatures cool, this solid solution becomes unstable, and the two minerals begin to separate. This exolution process often results in beautiful intergrowths of white albite lamellae within a pink potassium feldspar host, creating a distinctive texture known as perthite. Plagioclase feldspar, with its sodium-rich albite and calcium-rich anorthite end members, also exhibits fascinating exolution textures. As plagioclase cools, it can separate into alternating lamellae of albite and anorthite, forming a texture known as antiperthite. 
These exolution textures in feldspar serve as valuable geological clocks, providing insights into the cooling history of rocks and the timescales involved in geological processes. Section 7. Key features of exolution, telling signs of unmixing. Exolution leaves behind telltale signs in minerals, providing geologists with clues to decipher their history. By recognizing these key features, we can unravel the story of their formation. One of the most distinctive features of exolution is the presence of intergrowth textures. These intricate patterns, often visible under a microscope, reveal the unmixing process and the relationship between the separating minerals. Lamellae, blebs and other intergrowth textures are all characteristic of exolution. Another key feature is the slow cooling rate required for exolution to occur. Rapid cooling often freezes the solid solution in its high temperature state, preventing the unmixing process. Therefore, the presence of exolution textures indicates a prolonged cooling history. The composition of the exol phases also provides valuable information. By analyzing the chemical makeup of the separate minerals, geologists can determine the original composition of the homogeneous solid solution and the conditions under which it formed. Section 8, Unmixing, a deeper dive into separation. Unmixing encompasses processes that lead to the separation of mineral phases. These processes occur due to changes in temperature, pressure or the chemical environment. Diffusion involves atoms moving through the crystal structure over time. Elements become less soluble, concentrating in specific areas, forming separate phases. Recrystallization involves minerals dissolving and reprecipitating with different compositions. Unmixing shapes the composition and texture of rocks, revealing dynamic geological processes. Section 9. Unmixing in action, pyroxene and sulphide examples. Unmixing processes are widespread in the mineral world, leaving their mark on a wide range of minerals beyond feldspar. Let's explore some intriguing examples from the pyroxene and sulphide groups. Pyroxene, a major component of Earth's mantle, often exhibits unmixing textures. One common example involves the separation of calcium-rich orgite and calcium-poor pigeonite. As pyroxene cools, these two minerals can unmix, forming distinctive lamellae or patches within the crystal. Sulphide minerals, known for their economic importance as sources of metals like copper, lead and zinc, also display fascinating unmixing phenomena. For instance, chalcopyrite, a copper iron sulphide, can unmix at low temperatures forming intricate intergrowths with bornite, another copper iron sulphide. These unmixing textures in pyroxene and sulphide minerals provide valuable information about the cooling history of magmatic and hydrothermal systems, aiding in the exploration and understanding of ore deposits. Section 10. The importance of unmixing and exolution in geology. Unmixing and exolution are not just fascinating geological phenomena, they hold significant implications for various fields, from mineral exploration to understanding Earth's history. In ore deposit exploration, recognizing unmixing textures can be crucial. The presence of specific exolution or unmixing assemblages can indicate the presence of valuable metals. For example, the unmixing of chalcopyrite and bornite can be a guide to copper mineralization. Moreover, unmixing and exolution textures serve as valuable geothermometers and geobarometers, providing insights into the temperature and pressure conditions during rock formation. By analysing the composition and texture of exsolved phases, geologists can reconstruct the thermal and pressure history of rocks. Furthermore, these processes play a crucial role in understanding the evolution of Earth's crust and mantle. The unmixing of minerals during the cooling and uplift of rocks provides valuable information about the tectonic processes that have shaped our planet over millions of years. Section 11, Conclusion, Unraveling Earth's History Through Minerals. Our journey into the world of solid solutions, exolution and unmixing has revealed the fascinating complexity hidden within seemingly simple minerals. These processes, driven by changes in temperature, pressure and chemical environment, leave behind an intricate record of Earth's dynamic history. By studying the composition, texture and intergrowths of minerals, 
we gain valuable insights into the conditions under which rocks and minerals formed. These insights allow us to reconstruct the geological processes that have shaped our planet, from the slow cooling of magma deep within Earth's crust to the dynamic movements of tectonic plates. So next time you encounter a rock or mineral, take a moment to appreciate the stories they hold. Within their seemingly solid structures lies a hidden world of atomic interactions, unmixing processes and intricate textures, all waiting to be deciphered, revealing the secrets of Earth's remarkable journey through time.